Hi and welcome to Projects 360. This video is covering how we transfer product from warehouse to warehouse. So to create a transfer, you're going to select the warehouse you want to transfer product from and it'll take us into that warehouse. We'll then go up to the cog in the upper right hand corner and we'll go to create transfer. That'll take us to the create transfer page where we can see all the different product that's in that warehouse and we can select the product that we want to do a transfer for. So just click on the product and to click multiple hit the control button down and you can click on multiple prod product. When you have that go to the cog and go to transfer product. It'll then ask you to create a transfer name. You can auto generate by hitting the auto generate button or create a um, name for yourself. You can select the destination warehouse, which in this case I'm going to use a van, so I'm going to transfer it to a vehicle, for example. And then you can also, as long as the work order is created, you can also associate it to a work order. So if I want to uh, associate it to a work order also, I can select a work order and associate it to it. So Again, that's important for delivering the product because there's two ways to deliver the product to the client. One is via work order and the other is via an invoice. But if there's a proposal already, we're going to want to deliver things via the work order. We're going to then hit OK. It'll then take us into the transfer that we just created. If we have, if we selected something that didn't have stock, as you saw there, it'll tell you that, it, that there was no stock to transfer and it doesn't add it to the transfer. So if we if you made a mistake or grab something accidentally like that, you can just go to the cog here and you can go add more product. And it'll take open that warehouse on top here. So the transfer is down below. It'll open that warehouse up on top and then I can um, see what I have for quantity and I can, you know, select what I need to uh, add to that transfer and I can hit add to transfer right here on the button. And you can see below that it was added and product was added successfully. You can hide this by clicking the eye right up here and it'll get rid of that view. So I can review the transfer. If I do need to remove anything, I can do so and delete it right now. I can change quantities uh, right here so I can update the quantities. Again, as long as you have it, the correct quantity in stock. But if it looks good, we're going to go to the cog and we're going to go to finalize transfer. And you can click on finalize transfer. It's going to get, tell you that this is going to finalize the transfer. At this point, you won't after you say OK, you won't be able to edit it anymore. And you'll hit OK. And now this transfer has been created and finalized. And now if we go over into the van one warehouse, we can see that there's an incoming transfer. Um, actually, in this case, there's two, but on the menu, you can see all the incoming transfers. You can click on it. It'll show the incoming transfers. We just created that transfer 13. So that person who's in charge of that warehouse, which in this case, it's a van, so you would have in, uh, your technicians or your lead techs in charge of that vehicle, can click on that transfer, view it. If everything... Um, looks good, they could go to the cog and they can accept it. But I'm going to show you too, they can also reject it. So if, if it's missing something or needs something, they can actually hit the reject button. <clears throat> and then they can type in an explanation of why they're rejecting it. And when they hit OK, it'll send it back to that main warehouse. So let's just say, um, need another LL22. I'm going to hit OK. So they can put a note in there so the you know warehouse manager, whoever's uh, in head of the main warehouse, when that comes back, they know why <clears throat> they need to adjust it. So if we go back into that main warehouse, so your warehouse manager or inventory manager who's covering this warehouse can see that there's a rejected transfer. <clears throat> they can click on that and then it opens it to the rejected. They can go into the transfer. Up on top, they can see the reason it was rejected. Oh, I need another LL22. So now it's back in that edit mode, so they can actually edit it, and they can just go into the quantity and change that 
to two. And now it updates that because we did have another one in stock. And now they can go and finalize it again, which same process that we just did before. And it locks it down. Then the person that's in charge of van one can go in here and see the incoming transfer and go into it. And if everything looks good, they can accept it. And it's going to say it's going to be finalized, that you're actually accepting it now. Then this actually creates the transfer. So now it is actually removing the product from the main warehouse and placing it in van one. And that's how you create a transfer. Thank you and have a great day.